So friends, in this session and few upcoming session, we will see how the things are happening in the background when we are using Docker toolbox. So friends, this is the place where we left ourselves in the last video, which is regarding the Docker toolbox installation. We ran our first Docker command, Docker run hello world, and we saw the message that our Docker toolbox is successfully installed in our machine. So if you would have noticed friends, in the last session we saw when we launched this quick start terminal for the first time, it took almost two to three minutes by the Docker toolbox to present us this terminal in a ready state. Ready state in the sense where we can type our Docker commands. So let us see why it is so. So friends, now I am opening a Oracle virtual box. As you can see, I am double clicking the Oracle virtual box and you can see over here in the left panel, there is something written called default and then green arrow and then running. So basically friends, this is a virtual machine which is coming as a part of Docker toolbox installation. And this is the place where our Docker engine is running. And friends, initially this machine was not in the running state, but this machine was in the powered off state. And when we double clicked on this quick start terminal, this machine came from powered off state to the running state. And during this process, so many things are happening in the background like assigning an IP to this machine, creating a virtual network for this machine so that it can communicate to the internal and outside world. And all these things were done by Docker toolbox. And this is the reason why quick start terminal took two to three minutes when we launched it first time. Now friends, let us close this quick start terminal and let us again observe how much time it takes when we again started. And you can see it took almost two to three seconds now in comparison to two to three minutes when we launched it for the first time. Now, if, if you want to experience again the delay in quick start terminal launch, what you can do is you can just power off this machine. Basically, how you will power off this machine, you will just right click on this machine and you will do close and power off. Again, you will click power off and now you can see the machine iterators change from the running to the power off. And now you can again launch the quick start terminal and again, you will see a delay of two to three minutes because again, so many activities are happening in the background to make this virtual machine up and running. So friends, this is what I want to show you in this session. Let us see some more interesting stuff in the upcoming sessions.